and welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to crochet step by step this beautiful basket with slouch hat. For all sizes, we are going to need two skeins of yarn of the yarn that we're going to see in a second, Signet Chunky, and then we're going to see step by step how to create our slouch hat. So let's see how to start. The yarn that I'm going to use is Signet Chunky, which is a size 5 yarn, it's bulky and it's 100 grams, 156 meters each skein and it's 100% acrylic. The crochet hooks that we're going to use is a 4.5 millimeter to crochet the brim because we're going to start um, from the bottom going to the top and once we crochet the brim we're going to use a six millimeter crochet hook to crochet the rest of our beanie. Let's see how to start. I have started with my chain and have worked a total of 10 chains. In row one, because we're starting with single crochet, we can have a total of nine stitches. So I'm going to start crocheting from the second stitch from the hook. So skip the first stitch, the first chain, starting from the second one, work. One, Next chain, two, next one, three, next one, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Now we're going to start row two and from here on in the same exact way that I'm going to work the second row we're going to work all of the rows up until we finish crocheting the ribbed part, okay? So chain one and turn the work. Now I want to be working in the back loops of the single crochet. What this means is that when I put my hook correctly in the stitch, I have two loops. The front loop, this one over here, and the back loop, this one over here. So I want to be grabbing the back loop. When you're, when you're looking on, the, on your stitches from the top, you're putting your hook in the center and grabbing the back loop in the next stitch as well. Put your hook in the center and this is the front loop and the back loop. Put your hook in the center and grab the back loop. Okay, so starting from the first stitch right over here, grab the back loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and your last stitch right over here nine and this was the end of row two chain one turn your work and again in every single row you want to be grabbing the back loop of your single crochet starting from the first stitch one next stitch two three four, five, six, seven, eight, and my last stitch right over here, nine. So this is how our brim looks like at this point. Okay, now once you work more rows, when you open up the stitches, you'll see that it's a lot of stretchy. 
we have worked three rows together I'm gonna work 62 more rows of camera so I have a total of 65 rows with the rib stitch once I finish my 65 rows I'm gonna turn my video back on to see how to join it and how to start working our beanie I have completed crocheting my brim I have a total of 65 rows and this is how it looks like now if you do not know how to count the rows just in case you have lost your count each uh, heel looking over here see how it looks like a hill on the right side we have one row and on the left side we have the other row right side one row on the left side we have another row so if you're looking at your work like this this is two rows, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. Okay, so we have our 65 rows, and now we are going to join by working slip stitches. And after your last single crochet, in order to work your slip stitches easy, make sure you have worked a chain. Okay, and I want to join the front part with the back part and since I had nine stitches throughout my rows I will have nine slip stitches to join so put your hook in the first stitch on the front part and on the first stitch on the back part as well which is your chain right over here and take your hook pull it through both stitches and on the loop that you have on your hook second stitch in the front part second stitch in the back part and work your slip stitch third stitch in the front third stitch in the back and work your slip stitch so I have three slip stitches so far when I have completed crocheting when I have a total of nine slip stitches I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to continue I have completed crocheting my nine slip stitches and now the side that we have worked the slip stitches is the wrong side because a seam was created over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the hook I'm going to turn the inside out okay so now I'm on the good side and I'm going to change in my six millimeter crochet hook in order to work the rest of the beanie now so I am going to chain two to start the row with which the two chains do not count as a stitch and because we worked slip stitches to join I'm going to have 64 stitches all around from the 65 rows that I had in total and what I want to do is I want to put my hook right over here right over here to work the first stitch okay so in every set right here what I showed you earlier on the right side I'm gonna work the one double crochet and on the left side the second one so what I'm really doing is I'm working one double crochet in the first single crochet of every row so one stitch will go here one will go on the left side on the right side on the left side on the right side on the left side okay so I have chained two to start my row with and I'm going to start by crocheting in the first stitch over here okay one next stitch two next stitch three four okay then keep working five six seven eight nine ten and so on and do not mind the gap over here in the beginning once we work the slip stitch and start working the basket weave all around we're gonna close the gap and everything's gonna look nice over here in the front I have completed crocheting all around and this is how our work looks like at this point it's um, curving out and this is happening because we switched 
the crochet hook, we use the bigger crochet hook and it seems as if we have made more stitches, though we haven't. The, the reason is because the stitches are coming out bigger due to the bigger crochet hook. This is how our work looks like. And this is going to help us to have a nice curve on our hat, okay? And then when we close on the top, it's going to look nice and neat. So I have worked my 64 double crochet and I'm going to work a slip stitch in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top. Okay, slip stitch. And now chain two again. Do not mind the gap. It's going to close up the basket weave now. Chain two and turn your work. In every row that we finish, we always turn our work to work on the other direction. Starting from the first stitch, I'm going to work two um, front post double crochet and then two back post double crochet. So this is my first stitch right over here. So I'm going to put my hook from the front to the back on the right side of the stitch and bring out your hook to the front again on the left side so we're pulling outwards. Grab the yarn, pull it under the stitch, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops, grab the yarn, pull through the last two loops. The second stitch is going to be a front post double crochet as well. So again, put your hook from the front to the back on the right side of the stitch and bring it out on the left side so we're pulling outwards and work a front post double crochet. Around the next two stitches I'm going to work a back post double crochet. So put your hook from the back to the front on the right side and bring it out to the, um, to the back again from the left side and work a back post double crochet. Again, in the next stitch, we're going to work a back post double crochet. So put your hook from the back to the front on the right side, out to the back again on the left side, so we're pulling backwards, work a back post double crochet. So now keep working two back to front post double crochet. So one next stitch two and then work two back post double crochet one next stitch two so keep working to front post and to back post where the last two stitches of the row are going to be to back post double crochet. I have completed crocheting the second row of my basket weave and I'm going to put my hook in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top to work my slip stitch. Chain two and turn your work. Now. We're going to work row 3, which is the first row of repetitions, and we're repeating rows 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, rows 3 to up to row 6. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the direction of the stitches now, and I'm going to work 2 rows with the same direction, and then 2 rows of switching the direction again. But you will realize that we only worked one row with front posts and back posts in the beginning. The thing is that because we worked regular double crochet in the beginning and then we worked the front posts and the back posts, it will have the same height as if I would work two rows of front posts and back posts. It's the same, th it's the same thing. This is why I'm not going to work another extra row by having the same direction in my stitches. So let's start with two back post double crochet in the beginning since the stitches are front posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work one back post double crochet around the first stitch. So put your hook from the back to the front on the right side to the back again on the left side and work your double crochet. Next stitch put your hook from the back to the front on the right side to the back again on the left side and work your back post double crochet. 
Now the next two stitches are back post double crochet and because they're not visible I'm going to pull the stitches up and I'm going to make them front post double crochet in this row. So put your hook from the front to the back on the right side to the front again on the left side and work a double crochet. Put your hook from the front to the back on the right side of the next stitch out on the front again on the left side and work your double crochet. So now keep working the next two stitches are two front posts so I'm going to work two back posts double crochet one next stitch two and the next two stitches are two back posts so I'm going to open up the stitches and I'm going to work two front posts double crochet one next stitch two so keep working two back post two front post where the last two stitches of the row right over here are going to be two front post double crochet I have completed crocheting all around my last two stitches are two front posts as I mentioned before I turned my video off Work a slip stitch always in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top, chain two and turn your work. Now in the fourth row, which is the second row of repetitions, I'm going to keep the same direction of the stitches. So the first two stitches are two back posts, so I'm going to keep working two back posts. The next two stitches are two front posts, so I'm going to keep working two front posts. So let's start. Open up your stitches on your back posts okay and work one back post double crochet next stitch your second back post double crochet next two stitches are front posts so one front post double crochet around the next stitch one front post double crochet around the next stitch as well so keep working two back post two front post up until you complete the row where the last two stitches are going to be two front posts i'm going to turn my video back on to see how to continue i have completed row four which is my second row of repetitions work a slip stitch in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top chain two and turn your work. Now in rows five and six, we're gonna change the direction of the stitches. So since the first two stitches are two back posts, I'm gonna make them two front posts. And since the next two stitches are two front posts, I'm gonna make them two back posts. Okay. So work one front post, double crochet around the first stitch. and one front post, double crochet around the second stitch. Now the next two stitches are front posts, so we're going to make them back posts. Work one back post, double crochet around the next stitch, and one back post, double crochet around the next stitch as well. So keep working to front post, to back post, to front post, to back post, where the last two stitches are going to be two back post double crochet. And when I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to work the sixth and last row of repetitions. I have completed row number five. Work a slip stitch, chain two, and turn your work. Now we're going to work row number six, which is the fourth row of repetitions, and we're keeping the same direction of the stitches. So the first two stitches are two front posts, so I'm going to keep working front post, double crochet around them. So one front post around the first one, and one front post around the second one. The next two stitches are back posts, so I'm going to keep working back posts, double crochet around them. So one back post around the next stitch, 
one back post, double crochet around the next one as well. So keep working to front post, to back post, to front post, to back post, up until the end where the last two stitches are to back post, double crochet. I have completed crocheting my row, the last two stitches were to back post, so work a slip stitch, chain two, and turn your work. Okay, so this was the end of row six, which was my last row of repetitions. Look how nice our hat. The uh, basket width part is wider than the brim, so this is what we want in order to have a nice result. So now keep repeating rows three to row six. Keep repeating those four rows. For the next two rows that we're repeating, rows three and four, we're going to be working two back posts and two front posts. And then when we repeat rows four and five, uh, sorry, when we repeat rows five and six, we're going to be working two front posts and two back posts. So once I finish crocheting, I'm going to turn my video back on. I'm going to mention how many rows of the basket weave I have worked. I'm going to mention how many uh, centimeters and inches my work is at that point. And then we're going to work the last two rows and we're going to finish our hat by attaching the fox fur pom pom. I have completed crocheting my slouchy hat up until this point and I have worked a total of 19 rows where row number 19 I have worked the repetitions of row 3 and uh, the total length of my hat at this point is 24 centimeters. If you want to make it longer you can go ahead and work more rows with the uh, basket weave so you're making your hat more slouch in the back here. It's going to be hanging a little more. Okay. Now we're going to work the two last rows together. And the repetitions of row number three is where I have started to change the direction of the stitches. In row 20, I'm going to work decreases. I'm going to be working the double crochet together. But I'm going to keep working front posts and back posts to keep my stitch up until the end okay so let's see how we're going to do that so work your two chains to start the row with and turn your work now my first two stitches are back posts so I'm going to work two back posts, which I'm going to work together to form one, to decrease to one stitch. Okay, so pull backwards the first double crochet, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops and leave the last two on your hook. Yarn over once, pull back the second double crochet, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops and leave the last one on your hook. We have three loops, which we're going to close them all together to form one stitch. The next two stitches are front post, double crochet. So pull outwards the first stitch, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops and leave the last two on your hook. Yarn over once, pull outwards the second stitch as well, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops and leave the last one on your hook. We have three loops which we're going to crochet together. Okay, so let's do those steps one more time. The next two stitches are back posts, so pull back the first double crochet, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops, yarn over once, the second stitch, pull it back as well, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops and leave the last one in your hook. We have three loops which we're going to close together yarn over once, the next two stitches are front posts, so pull outwards the first stitch, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops and leave the last two on your hook, grab the yarn, pull outwards the second stitch as well, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops, <coughs> sorry, and leave the last one on your hook, we have three loops which we're going to close together to form one stitch. So we're working our decreases, but at the same time we're keeping the basket weave. Now I'm going to keep repeating those two steps all around 
and I'm going to be left with a total of 32 stitches from 64 that I have now. I've completed working my decreases all around. I'm left with 32 stitches. Now again, work your slip stitch in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top. Slip stitch, chain one, and oops, and turn your work. Now we're gonna work the last row where I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch all around, and this will help my hat to shrink even more. So I want to be crocheting on the top loop over here of the decrease. Do not put your hook all the way to the bottom down here. So only grab this stitch over here. Okay, and work one single crochet all around. And what I do is I, crochet, I work my single crochet a little tighter so I shrink the project even more. So one, next stitch, two, next one, three, next stitch, four, next one, five, next stitch, six, and keep crocheting up until you have 32 single crochet, where the last stitch is going to fall right over here. So these were the last two front posts which I worked together to form a decrease, on the top left of those two stitches is the last single crochet that I'm going to work. I've completed working my 32 single crochet all around. Put your hook in the first stitch, slip stitch, chain one. Now cut the yarn a very long tail because I want to have double strand when I take it through the needle to sew it, okay? It's better than having only one strand of yarn because it's easier when you collect your stitches together. So look how nice the, our project looks at this point. The hole in the center has shrunk even more now that we worked the single crochet and look how nice it has started to close from the outside. Okay, so now let's see how we're going to sew the stitches together and then how to attach the pom-pom. Now let's start sewing to join together to close together the top part, okay? So what I want you to do is take your needle and pull, put it from the front to the back on the one stitch and take it out to the front again on the next stitch, okay? From the front to the back in one stitch, take your needle out again from the next stitch, okay? And every time that you sew a few stitches, just gather them together so the head starts closing up. Once I finish sewing the top part, I'm going to turn my video back on. I've sewn together all the stitches and have closed the hole up here. Okay. Now what I want you to do once you have finished uh, sewing all the stitches together, take your needle, pull it through the wrong side of your work, okay, on the, um, on the wrong side, on the inside of your hat, make a few knots just to make sure the yarn does not unravel and then weaving the ends in the wrong side of your slouchy hat. I've completed my beanie hat. I've completed my slouchy hat and this is how it looks from the bottom going to the top. If you want to leave it for a man, you can leave it without the pom-pom or even for a woman. You, you're not, um, uh, it's not mandatory to attach the pom-pom on your hat, okay? But if you want to, take your fox fur pom-pom and with the uh, strings of yarn that it has in the bottom, take a pointier uh, sewing needle and place your fox fur pom-pom up here in the center on the top, okay? And bring the yarn on the inside of your beanie in the wrong side and what you're going to do is grab the pom-pom with your beanie and from the wrong side start sewing all around in order to attach it on your hat. Once I finish I'm going to turn my video back on to see how our slouchy hat looks completed. I have completed attaching my pom-pom, my fox fur pom-pom and this is how our slouchy hat looks completed. 
Okay, now the uh, pieces of yarn that we have here are tails. I want you to sew them on the inside, on the wrong side of your beanie, on the loops of the single crochet over here. And because we used two skeins of yarn, I want you to take your loops, your uh, pieces of yarn on the inside, on the wrong side of the beanie, and weave them in on the loops of the double crochet over here. Okay? So thanks for watching, please subscribe, and if you like the video, please press like and leave a comment. Thanks again, bye bye!